recently i was almost losing a friend and that caused me to sit back and reevaluate and If you're new here thank you so much for clicking on this video i really hope that you like it and that you subscribe join our family and if you're a returning subscriber you guys are the very best thank you so so much for always coming back to watch more videos so guys you're welcome back to another episode of shifa we're going to be talking about contentment something happened to me recently and um, it made me sit back and reevaluate and like just reflect on a lot of things that i was doing and that were like going on around me so what happened was i was almost losing a friend it became a situation where i was so scared of losing this person i was trying so much to like hang on and to like cling to this person and by that i was pushing this person away like doing the exact opposite of what i wanted and i just had to like sit down and like check what was wrong like where was i missing it and um, sometimes we just get caught up in our needs like in our needs for people in our needs for validation in our needs for reassurance there is a void in man there is a void in every man that can only be filled by one person god who created us god who is our father he's the only one who can fill this void and many times we forget this and we start to try to fill this void with things with achievements or we want people to fill this void and like, <laughs> we we just start to put so much pressure on this person that that's a friend or that that you're with like just expecting them to fill this void that only god can fill and so we just build this like assurance or insurance like around people or around things instead of god and man will always fail we are men man will always fail and that's that's what separates god from man the fact that god never fails no matter how much a man tries to be there for you no matter how much people try to be there for you they'll always fail at one point or the other because there's only so much a man can do god is the only one that can fill us to the brain and continually keep feeling us and never get tired and like the more he feels us he's not even running out he has surplus he has enough to keep feeling us but men we run out like we run out of grace we run out of content sometimes and you even need to refill yourself from god and so like imagine depending on a man to keep feeling you he's going to run out someday sometimes it's going to run out and no wonder we start to push them away no wonder we start to push people away no wonder i was pushing my friend away because somehow along the line i was missing it i was trying to make my friend fill this void in my heart that only god could fill like this this void of love of acceptance of reassurance or like i was trying to make someone else a human being somebody's child <laughs> So when this child feels this void that only God can feel and I feel completely. And what do you expect? The person is obviously going to run away. It's going to get overwhelming, going to wear the person out. You holding on so tightly, you're draining the person, you're draining somebody. And like the person will try to detach because I'm losing strength and you're just trying to hold on so tightly. When you should be holding on that tightly to God no one person on earth can meet all your needs god is the only one that can supply all of our needs according to his riches in glory emotional needs physical needs financial needs every kind of need we need, we have in this life you building that kind of hope and confidence in a man you are building your house on sand and what happens when the rain comes when the sun shines your house is gonna fall this is bad saying god kiya hai wo chanak se kis tarah se ye makan bhar bhara kar diye hai iski rukh dekhiye Because he's not the rock. Jesus is the only rock. <laughs> Jesus is the 
Jesus is the only rock. So build your house on the rock on Jesus, not on any man, not on anybody, not on anything, not on any job, not on any achievement. So today I just want to share with us about contentment and some things that God ministered to me that are helping me like now because I'm still in the journey, obviously, I'm still in the process, that are helping me to guide myself and guide my life and guide my longing and needs and like even my relationship with people and like how I hold on to things. Number one, contentment is happiness, contentment is satisfaction, like in any state where you are. We find contentment only in Christ, only through Christ, and only by Christ. We cannot find contentment any other place. He gives the peace that reassures, like the peace that keeps you secure and like takes away insecurity and makes you feel like whatever happens, I have Christ. And that's why the Bible tells us to put God first. This applies to every area of our life. Like the Bible is so complete because putting God first, it means like putting God first in every area of our life. When it comes to your needs, when it comes to your relationship with people, when it comes to what you're doing, what you're thinking, like, and God knows why He gave us this command, He knows why He gave us this principle from the beginning because He saves us a lot of stress, He saves us a lot of trouble. Why this is so bad, like, why this is so toxic is lack of contentment does not come alone. It, I feel like it's, it's a mother to many children it comes with a lot of baggage it comes with a lot, a lot of things insecurity cravings that are not good for you <laughs> it comes with a lot of drama it comes with a lot of envy it comes with a lot of comparison because when you're not content in that state where you are you start to compare you start to envy why this might be caused by a lot of things that for instance maybe things that happened in your past there is healing in god we don't have to keep going on with so much baggage from our past and just keep letting those things rule our lives. There is healing in God, so why not just come to God? Come to the bottom, okay? come to God and receive your healing, like daily. And what is so beautiful about God and about this loving Father that we have is you don't even have to do the healing yourself. God is the one who does the surgery, He's the one who does the changing who does the renewing of your mind once you just make yourself available once you just surrender and you're like god heal me like take control like he just keeps doing the healing because god always wants to make you whole he made you as a whole person he made you as a one a complete person he wants you to know that you are enough you are enough and god is enough for you you don't need anybody else to complete you you don't need any of anybody else to validate you or make you feel secure christ is sufficient he is enough i'm not saying do not value people yeah value people don't try to trash people because people are actually important people matter so don't try to trash people there is absolutely nothing wrong with having people and having people that you can trust having people that you can count on i have a couple of people in my life that i can count on like <laughs> like today if something happens i can call this person and they are going to come through for me but we should never lose sight of the place of sufficiency and contentment in god where it's like even if these people leave even if these people are not there tomorrow cool I'm, I'm going to survive. I'm not going to die because I'm not I'm not totally dependent on them Because even if they leave God is not leaving. Jesus is not leaving me Christ is not leaving me the one who sustains me the only one who satisfies is not leaving me So even if they leave I'm still going to be okay because I have God. I have Christ This is the secret to facing life knowing that with Christ I can face anything I'm just saying never give the place of God to human beings or things or achievements and trust god he always supplies and god knows how important it is for us to have people the god that i serve he empathizes with me he knows that i need people and he knows the kind of people i need he knows the kind of people i don't need so he's not going to remove everybody from my life and just push everybody out because nobody is important No, he's going to give me people that I need to help me grow and help my life, make my life better, even in my work with him. He's going to give you the people you need. Just never, ever give his place to somebody else. Putting God first is so key. And remember, this thing is not magic. It's something we work on daily. Another tip I have is take a break. Take a break from that thing. 
if if you can <laughs> if you're putting your job first and you cannot afford to take a break from that job please don't take a break and say it's esther <laughs> I told you to take a break. Well, if you can, if it's a person, if it's someone you can take a break from, like just take a break from that thing, step back a little and try to reflect, try to reevaluate and try to see where you're going wrong. Try to see how you can correct that thing and go back to your father, your creator, the one who owns that place of worship in your life and give it back to him. Like, can't be a see take your honor like take your place of worship prayer and meditation cannot even be overemphasized prayer like every day we need to pray pray in the spirit because like the bible says we don't even know what to pray but the spirit is always interceding for us you don't know the area of your life that you need to be fixing so praying in tongues is so key so important meditating it's amazing how much we can receive from god when we just sit in his presence and meditate because it's like every time every day we're always moving and we're so busy but like taking our time to sit down and actually meditate on the word of god does like it goes a long way it puts a lot of things right if we could do this every day of our life it just puts a lot of things right like things will not have to pile up and become so so big before we start to fix them no because just sitting down every day in the presence of god and meditating fixes a lot of things it does a lot of healing and finally focus on you i know like in this life we, we are trying to find we're all trying to find the balance we're all trying to for instance not be so selfish but my dear brother and sister sometimes you just need to i don't know if there's any such thing as good selfish but if this if there is anything like that i think it comes it's about this growing yourself imagine actually focusing on you and what you're doing for instance i have a youtube channel imagine me focusing on me focusing on my channel focusing on how i want to grow all my time is focused on growing me i don't have the time to start comparing myself to anybody and start finding that i'm not content in this area of my life no like focus on you focus on growing you when you focus on growing you you have less time to be beauty your life around somebody else this is where you need to put yourself first after god share <laughs> i really hope this video has blessed you guys and um if you're struggling with anything relating to that that now you have kind of a clearer perspective or you have like a way out somehow and um, i will see you guys in my next video until then please stay healthy and stay safe remember to like this video remember to share it remember to subscribe remember to turn on your notification bell and um every day make a new commitment to be content i'll see you in my next video take care stay healthy and stay safe bye